Miss Meg's makeup and today I have a fun Halloween tutorial for you guys. Can you guess what this is? I'm sure you know by the title but I wanted to do a pop art um, kind of look but then I was like I don't want to do just like your basic like crying pop art girl so I decided to do a pop art cat which um, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like it can kind of pass for like a pop art lion. Maybe if you mix like some gold or like yellow or orange paint in here you could totally make it like a pop art lion. But I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I really haven't seen many pop art animals, so um, I thought this would be super cute. So I decided to do it, and I kind of wanted to make the brow look like it was like, mm, like a little, kind of like a little Simba cat. Hmm. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to do a glittery lid. I wanted it to be a little bit more pizzazz and pop. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this one. I am I apologize for not posting recently. I've been so so busy. Um, I have an announcement for you guys since I will be posting this shortly. I will be going to New York with NYX Cosmetics. Woo! So NYX Cosmetics will be flying me out to New York next week, which is the 26th, 27th, and 28th of October. So this is next week. Um, we're opening at the Union Square store, which is going to be amazing. So I'll be there for the opening, and I get to meet you guys and hug you guys. And um, they're flying me out, so that's going to be so much fun. So I'm going to be traveling with them. So if you guys are in New York or anywhere around New York, or you'll be in Union Square next Friday, which is the 28th, I would absolutely love, love, love to meet you guys. And I'll be there, and it's going to be so much fun. So I just wanted to make that quick little announcement. So that's kind of why my videos haven't been up. I did that. I did like a, a really big shoot with NYX as well. I've been doing some stuff with Bellamy. I've been just modeling myself. I've been having a ton of clients. So I've been like all over the place. But So I wanted to get up some videos at least that you could do like some like just normal background videos instead of me doing like big production videos even though I did have a few planned and they didn't fall through. But that's okay because I'm still trying to do a couple little ones to bring out for you guys. And I can't wait for you guys to see all the stuff that I've been doing like when all, everything starts releasing. It's going to be so cool. Um, I do have a couple brands in the works that I'm collaborating with, so uh, <laughs> you'll see what that is. Oh, and um, since you guys are going to like see my nails a ton, don't mind my swatches, um, uh, these are actually press-on nails. My finger fell off, like, terrible story. I went to flush the toilet, and for some reason I was like, Bing! and flushed it instead of like, and I went like this, and I just like popped the nail off. So, anyways, these are from Nail Her. Um, this is just like the sweet pink set. Super cute. It's their squoval shape, which is like a stiletto with the top cut off. This is like my favorite nail shape. Um, I file my nails like this normally. So, um, yeah. So, I absolutely love these. And I actually do have a coupon code for these. These are like $13.99. They are glue on nails, kind of like the press on nails. But they are a lot stronger than like normal little glue on nails. I don't know. I don't know what their adhesive is or what. But um, I've had these on for a few days now, and they're staying strong. I just have the pink on because I did a bridal shoot with Bellamy, and they need to be simple. But I have some really cool rhinestones and, like, stripes and, like, cutouts and stuff that are, like, really, really cool. So if you guys want to check out those nails, I do have a coupon code down below for those. And you guys will get some money off that, even though they're already only 13 bucks. But might as well get more discount, right? <laughs> So anyway, stay tuned to see how to do this look. You guys will see in a sec. I start with a full face of makeup, so I just start with my normal foundation, concealer, blush, contour, and highlight routine. So that's all you need. Um, you can totally like vamp it up for this, but I just wanted to start with like a basic everyday face, so that way I can show that you guys can add anything on top of that. Just adding this on top makes it look so much more, because the pop art part of it is the focus, not like your contour. So just do your normal blush, contour, and highlight to get a nice glow with this. And uh, stay tuned and see how I did this pop art kitty cat. <laughs> Starting out, I used my NYX glitter primer and a small concealer brush. And I was just applying this all over my lid, just kind of carving out my actual lid and then winging it out. Because we want that cat eye effect because we are a cat. So this primer works with any glitter. Make sure you are not using craft glitter near your eyes or on your face, but definitely not near your eyes. Um, make sure it is cosmetic grade. It is a thinner, finely milled glitter and if that does get in your eye and it's cosmetic glitter it shouldn't harm you whereas if it's craft, craft glitter even if it's finely milled it's still not cosmetically safe so make sure you guys are using cosmetic glitter so i'm just using my finger and tapping this on to apply as you can see i made kind of a mess so i went ahead and grabbed just a flat brush and then i just kind of shaped out that little crease line there so i'm just making it that wing kind of lid liner shape just like the other one
So next to outline it, I was going to use a liner, which you guys could totally use a liquid liner, but I went ahead and used some black body paint or face paint. Um, I'm using the Wolf face paints, so I'm just using that to carve this out. So as you can see, I did have like a little bit of um, skippage there because my paint didn't have enough water, so I kind of got that skippage, but it's okay because I did end up fixing it. But you just kind of swerve the brush along your crease and it should make this line. And now we're just going to wing out the side and connect it so it makes that whole cat eye effect. So I just went back up, back and forth until I made that line as sharp as possible because that little bumps right there, they were really bugging me. So just make sure to play with your shape until you find the wing that you like. And then uh, when you're satisfied with it, we'll move on to the next step. As you can see, it was just a quick little fix here. Just made it a little bit taller and I fixed that right up. Looks so much cleaner now. And then I went ahead and outlined my brows because we got to... Um, be outlined right because when you're sketching something you outline it so we outlined the top of our brows of our me us you we all <laughs> so i'm gonna go from the corner of my brow and do that kind of like l shape inverted l and a normal l on each brow and then i went under the arch of the brow and then went above as well So next on the right eye, we're seeing it as my left eye though. Um, I'm going to curve it up and kind of make it look like I'm making this little like raised eyebrow look. And then I'm going to use some black to make the smile lines as well. The rest of this is just face paint, so super, super easy. And then I just made those three dots. Realizing now I totally should add whiskers. I don't know why I didn't, but definitely add three whiskers so people know for sure that you're a cat. I think that's why I feel like this looks more lioness or feline-ess, I guess. But I definitely wish I would have added whiskers so I just made a line right under my cheekbone where the contour would be added some wispy lines going up and I'm just going to outline the jawline here when you're doing pop art you want to make sure to really outline all your features so that way it looks like it is drawn so I'm just making that pretty thick so it's quite prominent and you can really see that I'm outlining all my features and I just did a little wrinkle on the chin here just to add some more dimension and kind of that whole pop art feel and then I went in between my lips, where my cupid's bow is, in between my lips, it's totally not, where my cupid's bow is, and I just drew that line connecting, kind of how cats and dogs have that little line there. And then I'm going to curve the sides of my smile up. Um, I just want them to look more feline-esque and more like little curving up there. So I just did that, and I went ahead and outlined my top lip in black. You can totally use liner for all these steps as well. I'm still using that face paint, or you can use a black lipstick for this part. So I went ahead and just lined that, and then filled them in completely. Make sure you do curve it up, and make sure it's all fluid, so it's not just like outlining your lips in a straight line out. Make sure it curves up so it looks more, quote, natural, because this is super natural, right? <laughs> Next, I took the white paint and I went under my eye and just to add this little white part here under um, my lash line to make it look like my eyes are a little bit bigger and more open. I'm not really sure if face paint is super safe near your eyes. I don't think it was the best option, but at that moment I was like, I'm going to use white face paint. But definitely be, feel free to use like a jumbo pencil from NYX or like a white liner or anything like that. So then I just took the black face paint again. You could totally use liner, but I used the black face paint and I just outlined that. Now see where the corner of my eye is in the outer third on the bottom lash line? I'm just going to connect that to the wing as well so it looks very fluid. And then I'm also going to outline the inner tear duct because I want it to look real more feline-esque, more like a cat eye. Very, uh, very feline-esque. <laughs> So I just went ahead and outlined that and then in the inner corner I pulled that down as well so it, it connects more and looks more fluid and then now I'm just fixing the outside like I said to make sure it looks all connected and fluid. Make sure those lines are as clean as possible. Sometimes it's hard with um, liners or face paint if they're dragging at all it's hard to get that perfect perfect line but I just went kept going back over it and over it until I was satisfied. So now we're going to add that wing in the actual eyelid part of it. So we're adding a normal wing and we're just connecting that to the pinch wing on the sides. So we kind of like outlined the crease and it's winged out and then we did the side wing. So now we're just going to connect that all with some black liquid liner. And I'm just lining this like I would a normal wing and I just make it as thick as I want. So just however your preference is, if you want it to be super dramatic and thick, go ahead and do that. If you want it to be thinner so you can see more of the glitter, do that. Totally, totally up to you. Now I'm just going to fill in my nose. I wanted it to be curved, so I made sure to make like a little heart, top of a heart shape on my nose. And then I just filled in the rest with black. So everything under that, I went ahead and filled in with black face paint. 
So you could totally do a straight nose, but I decided to do it more curve. I think it looks more like kit, 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 kitty like, cat like. That's what I should be saying. I think it looks more like feline esque with the curve at the top instead of just a straight nose. Straight noses remind me of more like deers for some reason. Then I just added a little line on my nose for more dimension and to look like it's still drawn. And then I just added some lines on my neck as well. You totally can't see because my palette's in the way. I was looking in the mirror. But I just made these three lines on my neck. I just wanted them to look kind of like um, you could see the muscle in my neck. So taking some pink face paint. Again, you can use your favorite liquid lipstick or whatever color you're going for. If you want to do red, if you want to do pink, if you want to do fuchsia, you can do whatever color you want. I just went ahead and used the face paint since it was on me. And then I took the black face paint and just outlined the bottom side of the lip. So we're going to make them look more like characterized. So we're outlining the bottom and then again just connect it to the smile line so it looks very natural and not just like a line sticking straight out to the wing. Then from here I'm just pulling some lines up into the lip. Um, at first this wasn't going exactly how I expected it so I just started to pull it up and then I just connected them down like little triangles kind of on my lip but more like curved out. So I just wanted them to look kind of like hair like and um, just kind of curve in and out of the lip to give some more dimension kind of pulling the whole feline feel. And um, as you can see I was having a hard time with it dragging. I couldn't get my water to face paint ratio correct. It was my first time using face paint but um, I just kind of worked with it. So as you can see I just got five little guys sticking up into the lip. Then I just took white face paint and I'm going to start highlighting. So I just did two dots on one side of the lip and then a straight line, highlighted the bottom, going to highlight the nose. We're basically going to highlight every black line um, so that way it looks like it has more dimension and it's not just a black line. So I went ahead and went over with white and just did little details on all the different lines and curves on the face. So when adding white, I feel like it definitely makes it look more 3D and like you spent so much more time on it. Honestly, this look is so, so easy. Um, if I wasn't filming this, I feel like I could do it in just a few minutes. But um, I think it's really cool because then you can just start with whatever foundation, contour, highlight, blush you want. And then just add this all on top. Or you could add more color. So as you can see, I'm just adding highlights to all points. So I normally do like the highest points of it. Um, so I did like the highest point of the eyebrow, the highest point of that line, and that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed so much this little kitten, kitty cat, feline, lion look. Please stay tuned for more Halloween looks and subscribe to my channel for more videos because there are big things to come, guys. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video.